Cannoli, Biscuit, hurry, come in. I'm so glad you're here. Close the door. What's going on in here, Shelby? I've been at it all night. I've gathered and collected all the clues to find out what happened to the otter, and I talked to Mr. Coffee about the janitor. Okay, what do we have so far? Well, let's start off with what we know. Clue number one, we have his favorite toy, which he never goes anywhere without. Clue number two, a used blow dart. And the zookeeper even told us that he was extra sleepy. So we can guess from clue number one and clue number two that he either escaped being sleepy from the medication or he was taken. Oh, oh my, don't forget about the, le the note he left behind. Yes, yes, yes. So we don't know for sure if he left this behind on purpose or not, but it does look like a sign or symbol of some sort. We'll just have to look more into it. Let's go on. Clue number three. The gate to his cage was left unlocked. So get this, so that tells me that someone must have had access to the key. Someone, someone from, from the, the zoo. zoo! Exactly. And clue number four, the janitor. He must have been involved one way or another, but we just don't know how or why. Oh, by the way, the video from the zoo is ready. What? Why didn't you tell us this earlier, Biscuit? Didn't want to ruin the presentation. Well, let's hurry and watch it. I know I saw him somewhere, but where? Think. Think, Miss Canola, you could crack the case. Isn't he the guy from the news? Station? That's it! The guy that I told you about yesterday! I knew I would remember. W what guy? The guy that got really angry whenever we were doing the weather on the storm. Uh, you're welcome. I would uh... Listen, guys, we need to work together to solve this case. It took all three of us to get this far, and it's going to take the whole news station working together to find the otter. Okay, you got it. Let's go. Let's go. Riverside Nightly News keeps you current in today's world. Meet our 4K News team. Our lead anchors, Cindy Toast and Johnny Waffle. We'll keep you informed. And let you know what's going on. Welcoming our newest anchor, Scott Michaels. Nice to meet me. Always accurate weather with Daisy Donut. It's always sunny, unless it rains. Bringing you our city's top sports, Flapjack. What's up, guys? Perfect. And this is our RK Nightly News Team. Good evening, everyone. I'm Cindy Toast. We have a lot planned for you tonight. But first, let's go to Scott. So, Scott, I heard you know something about the otter disappearance. Hello there. We have more details on our missing otter case. During the excitement, our field reporters uncovered a man dressed as a janitor that fled the scene. If you have seen anything or know anything about this man, please call us with any information. We'll keep you posted as our store develops. Thank you, Scott. You know, we've never had any problems like this before until you got here. Weird. It's almost like the problems followed you from the big city. Crazy, right? Listen, I saw that zoo the day before the otter went missing. And believe me, they've got bigger problems than that otter. So you were there right before the otter went missing? Hmm. Yeah, I was there. And you know what? It was lame. And you know what else it was? Oh, this just in. Do I have to read this? Cost me my job if I don't make a correction. Okay. <clears throat> My apologies. The zoo has never had any animals escape, has never had any danger to visitors, and absolutely is the everything your family ever wanted in a zoo. Wow, first week and already having to make corrections? Yikes. Oh, really? You know what? And now is my time to start talking about something to distract you from. Oh, I wasn't supposed to read that. Uh, how about we do weather? 
Uh, oh, already? Okay, well, the map is showing uh, sun, so that means it's gonna be sunny today. And tomorrow is showing floating. Okay, it seems that we have got ourselves a big mess here. Let's see if Flapjack can help us out here. Sports! Man, if we lose this upcoming game, I'm gonna toilet paper at their houses. Yeah, well, both teams. Oh wait, are we on? Um, well, we're just getting ready for this week's game and it's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. So, uh, I'm back to you. Now, a word from our sponsors. That's about it folks, the otter is still missing, the sun is still shining, I think, and we have our big game this weekend, woohoo! And this has been the RK Nightly News. Cut, 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 what was that? all need to work together. We are a team. There are no main characters, only the news team. If y'all keep this up, there will be no news team and there will be no news station. Yeah, and you're going to be fired tomorrow when Mr. Iglesias shows up. Okay, listen up. I don't care who is coming tomorrow, you all need to start acting like a team. That means hearing, being polite, and building each other up. Jesus himself said to seek after the kingdom of God first. Not fame or the amount of time the camera is on you. Those things are just selfish. You must and you will do better. Wow. I can't believe that happened. Yikes, did you see Mr. Michaels have to correct his story? First he lied, and then he had to apologize to make it right. I would have much rather just got it right the first time, not lying. Looks like their team had to learn the hard way to work with each other. I'm glad our team works with each other just fine without getting in trouble. How embarrassing. Mm -hmm. The best thing you can do is evaluate and improve yourself before someone else corrects you. All right, wise guy. Hey, y'all, we need to look for Miss Bacon. <gasps> Keep an eye out for her. Yeah. Look, Mrs. Bacon. Mrs. Bacon, we have new details to tell you about the story. It's a twisted web. Come look at our clues. Okay, what do y'all have? Take a look at this. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. What do you think? I think we have a problem. There's more to this story. Do you remember when Cindy Toast was promoting a sloth show with a great trainer? Yeah. Well, meet the trainer. 
little toast. Everyone's been acting really strange here lately since all the changes. Strange? Like how? Look, just keep digging. We have to find this otter. If the newsroom is involved somehow, we're all in trouble. Just keep this to yourselves until we have more evidence. The head honcho is coming tomorrow. Ignacio Iglesias? He will shut this place down if he has to. Ah, uh, uncle, ah, uh, unlikely. I'm sure he wouldn't do that. Let's just be safe. Let's look at our suspect. Toast, remember that she was angry about a report on the sleeping medicine not working on river otters? I didn't give her that report. Her sister is the sloth trainer and would benefit from the otter gone missing. Michaels, he used the bad thing happening in the news and mentioned he was going to make something bad happen to get a good story. He also doesn't mind adding made up stuff to his stories even though he knows they are wrong to make himself look better. Waffles. He's been very frustrated and spastic. He's not good at lying or good under stress. We should question him. Donut. She doesn't like to share her spotlight, but so far no connection to the otter. Flapjack. Well, I don't think I've ever seen him in person. I doubt it's him. Look over the facts. And let's keep digging. We'll be back tomorrow. All right. Sounds good. <laughs>